Well, never let it be said that I don't recognize a cue line when I hear one. But I want to go on record. I don't need to hear the gory details of Kate's shooting to understand that this was but yet another move on the mob chessboard. An enemy of Sonny's wanted revenge or wanted to make some sort of big showy statement. So Kate, just like Michael, was an innocent victim literally caught in the crossfire. And now, of course, Sonny obviously wants to strike back, wants to make a big scary statement of his own. And I am not deceived for a second about the two of you and what exactly you are capable of. You can and will commit violent mayhem to that, Sonny's request. But I am asking both of you to take a step back and ask yourselves, what exactly will be achieved by perpetuating the cycle of violence? What exactly constitutes appropriate revenge? When there's nobody left standing? I'm sorry for being selfish, Jason, but I really don't want to have to pick out a smart outfit to go to Max's funeral just because Sonny Corinthos wants to make a point. That is one hell of a woman. Just so we're clear, as much as I respect Diane's feelings, I'll do anything Mr. C needs. No, Max, you can't. And I can't either. Cody and I went back to the church to double check the sight line from the choir loft and there is no doubt Kate was the intended target. Well then it had to be Karpov, not just because the bullet was Russian, but he had motive. <laughs> Karpov was pissed that Sonny backed out of their deal. He felt disrespected so he had Kate shot to send a message. Okay, Max, I just want you to think for a second. <sighs> Anyone can buy a Russian gun, right? I mean, why be so obvious? You want to send a message to Sonny? Why not say so? It doesn't add up. And until I know all the facts, for sure, I cannot retaliate. Are you seriously standing here refusing to help Sonny get revenge for Kate after everything he's done for you? Get it. Patrick says you, you, you'll make a full recovery. You did your part. Now it's time to do mine. You know why I, I walked away from the mob, you know that better than anyone. But it left me vulnerable, even worse. It made you vulnerable. That can't happen again. I have to accept that I can't run away from the violence. I have become the violence. So I'm going back. I'm going to put myself in a position where I strike fear in my enemies' hearts. And whoever did this to you, whoever hurt you, is going to pay an ugly price. No one will ever come me or mine again. <laughs>